Hey, what's up, Dylan? Shane here. How you doing? Hey, Shane. I'm good. Glad to hear your voice. It's been a little while. I know. Well, a little while isn't. We. I feel like we're talking quite a bit, but every day. Yeah, it was kind of. A joke. Not yeah. FaceTime, right? <laughs> or in person yet? So, yeah, I don't. I don't do these zooms enough. It's kind of fun to get some FaceTime, right? Yeah. Yeah. A little FaceTime is always good. So where are you at? What you doing right now? So I'm in northern Indiana, where it's about. 20 degrees, it's blowing about 50 miles an hour outside, just gorgeous, lovely weather here, so <laughs> it sure beats Florida's, you know. But no, northern Indiana, we're at the plant, just hanging out, working the day, production's running, things are looking good. Production's running, how are things going with the, the new units coming off the line soon, hopefully? Yeah, so we got 15 online right now, we're hoping to have those off either next week or the following, and then one a day after that, so. Pretty excited and we're getting closer and closer. That's exciting. I'm super pumped. I, I can't wait to get those first units off the line and over to our yeah. South Carolina. Nate's pretty excited. Good, we're all excited. Well, absolutely. Well, I, you know, I, I did wanna say thank you for filming that video last week. I think everybody was super excited to get a walk around on that 20.2. That was really cool. Hey, I, I, I just kinda like before, you know, I think everybody wants to see something else. You know, yeah, and but, but yeah. before we get to the next tour, I just wanted to kind of ask you some behind the scenes, some things that you guys, I, I know we've been talking back and forth after we met you guys, you know, whatever, a couple months ago uh, out at East, we, we've been talking back and forth about some of the components and stuff that you guys were kind of debating on moving, changing. In the current tours, we see all the, uh, the electrical components, all our Renogy but you guys have decided to go with something different. Do, do you mind? Can we, can we share with everybody a little bit? Yeah, of course. I'm glad you asked. So yeah, we started with Renogy. Um, we actually made the switch to Battleborn batteries and then uh, the Victron electrical system. So we're pretty excited about that. So just to go into it a little bit more, the standard is going to be still the 600 watts of solar on the roof. And then we're going to give you two 270 amp hour lithium batteries from Battleborn. Super excited about that. And then our uh, electrical system uh, from Victron will be the 3000 watt inverter and then the 250 amp solar chargers. So Victron is uh, number one, great in the field. So is Battleborn, but they're also really good on the back end too. And they just made the decision super easy for us. Dude, I am so so excited about this like I, I know we were talking with Maynard and and you guys about like you know uh just I know there was some some things that you just wanted to switch out and and we were just like well I mean everybody Victron's the gold standard right if if you did Victron that would just blow everybody's mind so when you guys finally said yeah we're gonna go with Victron I was like I'm jumping for joy honestly yeah yeah no that's super cool tell us a little bit about the relationship between Garmin and Victron. Yeah. And Victron. yeah. No, uh, there, was, there was no problems hooking up this system. Garmin, you know, uses Victron or in, in different products as well. So making the switch was relatively easy for everybody. It just made sense. So Garmin and Victron work together nicely kind of integrate really well. So the whole, yeah. the, the, that smart tablet that controls everything it sounds like from what what Maynard was telling me that their Victron and Garmin already have a relationship so the moment you guys switched over it was just like integrated into the whole computer system just like that yeah it was you're correct yep that's awesome and, and that's one of the things that I'm so excited about the pause uh, you know is it is really truly the first ever smart trailer right like just the componentry, the, the computer, all of those little features from the Garmin. Now we got Victron, which everybody will tell you when it comes to like solar energy, Victron is the smartest system out there. And now you've just integrated it with Garmin, which is just mind blowing. Yeah, no, we're excited. And so let me make sure I heard you right. Did you say standard? 540 amp hours of battle-born lithium battery. You are 100% correct. So that, that's a standard. And then to upgrade, we'll give you an additional 540 amp hours. So a total of, if I do my math right, 1,080. So that's unbelievable. I mean, that's really moving you guys into uh, 
a pretty incredible category, especially doing it with Battleborn, right? That's really, really cool. I'm just, the more and more we work with you guys and just communicate, I, I'm really, really excited about the future of this product and brand. I, I don't know if I, I think I mentioned it in the last video, but Maynard was texting me saying, I'm watching your Moab videos. When do you want to take the pauses out there? And I'm like, Let's yeah. put it on the schedule. Yeah, say no more. <laughs> I know, I'm like, come on down to Moab. Have you been to Moab yet? Oh, I've never been uh, out there. I've only been uh, out west a couple times and it was just to um, Arizona and then Las Vegas. And it was both quick trips. So I'd, I'd love to get out there, yeah. Oh man, it will blow your mind. We'll take you out, show you a good time. We, we raise her down in Moab. So that's what I told Maynard, I'm like, Hey, I was like, it's a company trip. You're building relationships with your partners. We do some marketing videos, but also I'll take you out for a good time. We, we know the trails really well and we can rent some razors and go mob through Moab. That sounds great. The only thing, we probably wouldn't want to let Maynard drive one of those things. I, I rode with him to the airport a couple weeks ago and we, we don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> good to know, good to know. We'll put him in as a passenger. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there you go, that's awesome. Anyways, well, I, I think the whole reason why everybody came and clicked on this video is because they want to see a tour of the XC 20.3. Do you think we can show them that? I'd love to, so let's get to it. Okay, let's go. Today we're gonna be talking about the PAWS XC 20.3. We're gonna start in the front here. Notice right away, give you a large A-frame storage box. If we look inside, we'll give you some two 30-pound LP gas tanks. You notice here, we can use these areas on the sides and on the front for jerry cans. These are used for extra gas or extra water or any other liquids you guys decide to bring. On the very front, it's very essential when you go off the beaten path, over rocks, fallen trees, you have an articulating hitch, so your, your camper will sway side to side and it won't impede the truck and where that wants to go. As we look to the front, the very front, you notice here we have a polyurea coating. So simpler terms, this is a rhino lining. This is something you see in the back of a truck bed. It helps with any abrasions as you travel through off the beaten path. So on the front here, this is our outside kitchen. We look around here, we give you a stovetop griddle combo. Nice area for preparing the food. Nice little table here. And then you can also have places to hang up all your utensils, things like that. This is super easy to put away as well. Just simply just slide all that in. And this whole thing will actually slide as well. Notice we have a pantry on the outside as well, a spray port. So if we open this, put your hose in there, some hot and cold water as well. Some, spray some dishes off or boots or whatever it may be. As we look back there a little bit further, you notice again, there's our air compressor, our onboard air compressor. You can plug in a hose, fill up the tires on your bike, your truck tires. Something that's super important as well to use it for is when you're actually overlanding, going through sand, you wanna deflate those tires a little bit and you're, when you're ready to get back on the road, you can inflate those tires pretty quickly with that air compressor. I'm gonna give you a nice port right here on the side there, so just put in your hose and fill up your tires and off you go. So we have some windows all the way across here, a full glass door. These windows are actually dual paned, so that helps with UV rays, not getting through, no fading on the inside, keeping the cool air in, the hot air out on those hot summer days and vice versa when it's colder outside. Lights all the way around. We put a light right by the door. So it's super easy to see when you're getting in and out during the nighttime. If we look up, we give you a Thule legless awning. This is 14 foot long. This is actually controlled by our Garmin app. So just by one click of a button and away you go, this will open up. It actually has a wind sensor on it too. So if it's a little windy outside and a gust of wind hits the awning, it'll actually retract itself in. So that way it won't damage itself if it stays out in those strong winds. It's 
So we keep going here. This is what's really cool to me. Drop down table on the outside. So we give you some bar stools as well, you see here. So you can eat on the outside, you can hang out. Notice there's a TV on the inside. So if you wanna watch the game while you're out and about eating outside, you can definitely do that. Pass drinks, plates, food through this pass-through window here as well. Just a nice area to entertain and bring all your friends and family along. Speakers on the outside, up top, we use Fusion Entertainment from the Garmin app. So you can zone these off from the inside and play some music on the outside. Security camera on the outside as well. We give you security cameras on all four sides. Lights on all four sides as well. As we'll keep going here, you notice this nice exterior full body wrap, awesome graphics and our PAWS logo up top there as well. It'll give you a nice pop as well. Some outlets here, antenna hookup. So bring the TV out here if you want to. Notice here we have our tankless water heater as our Fugati water heater, continuous hot water. And this is a good area and good place to bring up our sidewalls. So what you're seeing here on the walls and on the floor and on the roof, this is actually our Transcore composite sidewalls. These things, super sturdy. It's actually a foam with um, fiberglass thermally bonded to each side, so it's all one piece. There's nothing that's glued on. It's never gonna delaminate, so you don't have to worry about that. What we have here is a little rack as well. Yeah, you can, you can hang up some different attachments that you guys uh, see online. You can hang up your boots from those attachments, your, your waders, whatever it may be. All right, so as we go along to the backside, notice right away, two full-size spare tires. This is on our swinging tire racks. We have a nice looking bumper on the back as well. Give you some tail lights, right? And then what I like about this, about any pause that we give you, nice storage in the back, all right? So about 63 cubic foot of storage. There's a light back here, some different places to hang your boots, some outlets, a ventilation fan. So that way, if you guys put your dirty clothes back here, you can turn that ventilation fan on. It won't stink when you open or shut the door and open it back up, all right? So this swinging tire rack, super simple to use and function. What you do is just lift that up, swing that out, give you a drop down table here as well. Place to put your belongings while you're back here. Then a super easy functioning handle. So that way when you're crawling up the, or uh, going up steps here, you can just use that for assistance, right? Lights, cameras on the back as well. Something I do want to point out on these steps going into the back here is that these actually just flip right up in. So they fold up like that. And then when you fold the steps back in, less space is taken by these steps back here. So we really like that feature. So now that we've seen the outside, let's go take a look on the inside. So we are in the inside of this pause unit here. I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Look to the front. We have a roll over sofa. Actually what you do here during the daytime when you're ready to hang out, you can have a sofa right there, but nighttime ready to sleep. What you do is this actually just rolls all the way over. You have your legs right here. So this rolls all the way over. You put your queen mattress, you can flip it. It's a trifold, so you just flip it down. It's a full 60 by 80 queen mattress. So I'll roll that back up, pretty easy to do. Put your pillows back on, and away you go. T-shirt closets on each side, outlets on each side of the bed, reading lights on each side of the bed as well. And then if you lay in bed and you look up, give you a couple skylights. These actually open up as well, but they're super cool when you're laying in bed and you look up, see all the stars at night. I just imagine that it's really, really awesome. So all the windows, like mentioned before, are dual pane. You have a shade system on the inside. You also have screens that come down. So when you open up your windows, you can have that screen all the way down, keep all the bugs out. And as we look down, countertop space, solid surface countertops as well. So on this one here, we give you a nice full kitchen on the inside. We have your oven here, your three burner cooktop, your microwave, a large residential sink, 
high-rise faucet, and then we also give you a large refrigerator, 16 cubic foot refrigerator that is 12 volt. So I wanna show you guys these cabinets as well because I think it's super beneficial to know that these cabinets here, this is actually an aluminum. So everything in here is powder coated aluminum cabinets. There's no wood on the pauses whatsoever. Some more cabinets up top for some storage. These are on some struts. Soft close, all right? Super easy to work, super easy to use. Some lights all the way through. We wanna make sure it's nice and bright in here. Got, you, got your TV mount on the sidewall as well. Got your outlets here. Something that I really like about this floor plan is it's multi-functioning bar top here. So you can get some bar stools in here. You can eat your dinner. You can sit out, enjoy the nice vista of the exterior. But at nighttime, when you're ready to go to bed, what you can do here is release that. You can bring this down and we have a nice area for sleeping. We have a nice bunk mat there for you as well. So then when you're ready for daytime, ready for that bar back, just lift that up, push that in, make sure everything's in place and voila, you have your bar back. We'll travel back to the bathroom here. So you notice here, 3D print on the wall, some nice cabinet space on both, or on the side of your lath here, your nice big lath, give you a mirror, more room down here for all your toiletries, porcelain toilet. And what I really like is this large fiberglass shower, skylight above as well that you can actually open up. It's got a light on it. Give you a shower curtain, not glass, because when you're going, going over all those bumps, you don't want anything glass on the inside to break or shatter. So we'll give you this nice curtain here. All right, guys, so now that we've seen the POS XC 20.3, we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Dylan, once again. And I do want to say thank you to everybody uh, over at the Pause division at Palomino. We are so excited about this product. I, I am, my mind was blown when they reached out to us and started talking about electrical components and we're like, man, Dreamlist, Victrons, Battleborns, if you could do that, that would be amazing. And they did it. They're doing it. So I'm so, so excited about this trailer. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe because we actually have the units. They're going to be here like really, really, really soon. And we're taking them out. Going to be doing some crazy off-roading. We're going to go out and immediately start to start putting them through some torture tests. Hopefully you'll be seeing some of that stuff here, hopefully before Christmas. Uh, Cause it's coming really soon. And, and also stay tuned. We're going to go into some crazy in depth tours. Like, you know, the, the long hour plus, you know, going through and going down and breaking every single detail, every component. Also look forward to some of the factory tours that's gonna be coming really close in the future here. We've been talking and collaborating on some of that stuff, but really excited about this product, this manufacturer, the brand, the people, and all of that. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and send it to a friend if they're looking for some incredible, all American made, off-road trailers, send it to them. They will want to see this stuff. We're gonna have some incredible videos coming out in the next month or two. So thank you, have a wonderful day, and Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas.